we have tried. Cowboys Nation, we have tried to brace you for what we view as being the inevitable. That is to say, the interview uh, that Dan Quinn, the stellar Dallas Cowboys defensive coordinator, was always going to get in Denver when Vic Fangio got fired. Mike Fisher reporting from Frisco on the Cowboys. It's not inevitable yet that Dan Quinn gets the job in Denver or elsewhere, but the interview was inevitable, and we tried to tell you that, and now it's coming. The Broncos have issued their request uh, to interview for their head coaching vacancy, Dan Quinn. They've done this in a way that puts Dan Quinn, obviously, high on the totem pole in terms of uh, the people they're interested in. They just got done firing Fangio. He's just now cleaning out his office. It's worth noting that while it's unconventional in NFL circles to fire a defensive coordinator turned head coach and then replace him with another defensive coordinator, that can be in play here because of relationships, not to mention Dan Quinn's particular qualities. He has demonstrated those qualities as a defensive coordinator in this marvelous Dallas Cowboys defensive turnaround. He demonstrated those traits in helping the Falcons to a Super Bowl. It didn't end the way they wanted, but he was the driving force to Atlanta going to that Super Bowl and being good over the uh, course of his term there. And he was successful and Super Bowl level as a defensive coordinator before that in Seattle. There will be other opportunities for Dan Quinn. If Pete Carroll and Seattle decides to part ways, Dan Quinn is a candidate there. He'll be a candidate probably in other places as well. And of course, there's been some other moves, Brian Flores being fired by the Miami Dolphins, that puts yet another defensive mind out there as a potential head coach here in this coming cycle. But in addition to the unusual aspects of Dan Quinn and the Broncos, their general manager has a relationship with Dan. Uh, they've known each other since working together, uh, gosh, more than a decade ago in Miami. Uh, the rumor is that they've thought about finding a way to someday work together. This doesn't mean that Dan Quinn is dissatisfied in Dallas, but what I've tried to explain to Cowboy fans is when Dan holds his press conference and says he loves it here, I love Dallas, I love where my feet are, all that stuff, he's telling the truth, but it's also what he's supposed to say. He will also tell you that he loved it in Seattle, that he loved it in Atlanta, that he loved it when he was at the University of Florida, that he loved coaching in college, at a small college. Love, 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 because he loves to coach. But he would also almost certainly love to once again run his own ship, be the captain of his own ship. He can do that in combination with his friend, the general manager in Denver, and he could do one more thing in terms of connections. If they lure a quarterback, and remember what Stephen Jones told me when Dallas hired Dan Quinn, that he can recruit players. Uh, another unusual aspect uh, in the NFL that Dan Quinn brings. If he recruits a quarterback to Denver, oh, I don't know, Russell Wilson, then that franchise is completely turned around and Dan Quinn will once again have a contender on his hands and his hands would be on the steering wheel as the head coach. We'll keep you posted on all the moving and the shaking. We've got Mike Zimmer news for you as well, and a Vic Fangio take, Cowboy related, that we think you'll enjoy too. So keep it here. Thanks for subscribing. You get it here. First and best, straight dope, no bullsh. Fish out.